hey guys what's up in this video we will be talking about the theory of automata and our topic is going to be trees so trees so our topic is going to be about trees so now we're gonna build a tree our tree is going to be let us say we have a sentence and what does sentence have a sentence have a noun a sentence have a verb and a noun further has a pronoun and a, it also has your helping verb and common noun pronoun and it also has your common noun So the sentence and it, it can also have your sentence can also have an objective. So this is your sentence. It has verb. It has noun. It can also have an objective. So right now we are this is a tree of. So this is a tree of grammar. okay now our sentence can also have an adjective see our verb verb can also have your helping verb and your other types of verbs well let me just remove helping verb from here So if we write a sentence, I am a boy. So I is your common noun. Pardon me if I'm making any grammatical mistakes because I just want to show you the concept of tree in automata. So am maybe your, you know, mm, no, am a and the is article. So am is your helping verb. And a is your article. So a sentence can also have an article so let us just quickly draw an article line up from here article so this is your article and boy is your is actually your object it's not objective it's object This thing is object okay and we can also extend this tree okay so one common mistake I was making was the spelling of trees is it's actually T R W -E S trees okay so now we are going to build rules for of production so let me just select a different color and I'm gonna write the rules of production production so my rules are production is going to be set is going to be further classified into NVO sentence sentence has subparts that is noun verb and object and see noun verb and object this is our noun this thing is our noun this thing is our verb and this thing is our object so noun verb and object it's divided into noun verb and object okay so noun is further divided into common noun and uh, our common noun is in this case is i and our verb was further divided into helping verb which is am and our article is a and our object right here in this case is boy 
so these are the rules of production for this automata now all this point all these points are called leaf all the edges of this uh, this is maybe called leaf so so leaves are also called terminals in automata okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to come down over here where am i i'm over here okay so now i'm going to draw a set set of non terminal set of non terminal values non terminal values and i'm going to represent this by n and it's going to hold a sentence and it's going to hold it's going to hold noun it's going to hold verb it's going to hold helping verb it's going to hold article it's going to hold object and it's going to hold common noun okay so now this is our starting point this is sentence and if you talk about in terms of in terms of programming language what is our starting point our starting point is a main function and if we want to draw, draw this uh, set of productions over here that we have drawn this is our rules for production set and we are going to have to choose a color green for this set to be p is equals to and all these uh, I'll actually I can do like this p is equals to this is my whole set of production rules for production excuse me uh, let me just rub the okay so now that I've rubbed the that irrelevant thing so these are my rules for production rules for production there you go and one cool thing is that i can call this whole set as a set of grammar as sentence noun and t and p okay so i can say that grammar is a set of oh hold on where is my pen grammar is a set of sentence and also having non terminal set and having a terminal set see this is our this is our non terminal set because it cannot be further extended this is our terminal set i am a boy this can be called as terminal set because this does not have any end to that and p is the set of production so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this color and i can see that hold on where is my pen this is i am a boy this thing is a set of hold on let me make some space over here this is my set of i am a boy is it going to be terminal set or it is going to be non terminal set it is going to be terminal set because it can further be extended i can simply write as t t is equals to this set pardon me for such a mess i am not used to using this tablet right now but i'll get inshallah so t is equals to i am a boy there you go okay now what i'm going to do is i can also define this thing as let me make some space the language language is a set of grammar and which is further can be called as w is an element of words that consists of words and we are going to have this t over here this this asterisk right here is telling that this uh, sentence may also have some spaces right so we can say that language is depending on grammar and all the words are terminals 
and the asterisk is that stating that all the thing uh, all the their their terminals the spaces in between may be um, actually this asterisk right here the star is telling that spaces can also be there because a space cannot be a null value you know a null value nothing is also something so this is telling that a space is in this case is represented by asterisk so in the next video i'm gonna be making you this more clear so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next automator video